Now, lots of people have um, used 2020 as the perfect year to have a darn good clear out. I've been doing that just recently. Our garage is uh, bit by bit getting emptier. And for the majority of us, the most interesting thing we'll find is a piece of artwork our kids did at school, which actually, me, you know, it means an awful lot. It's priceless. Uh, sometimes uh, there is the tie or whatever it is we should never have bought. So imagine your reaction if you found a piece of real museum-worthy history. That's what happened when a Berkshire-based auctioneers was uh, doing a routine house valuation. Dawson's Fine Art and Antiques found a handwritten letter by Admiral Nelson. Yes, Nelson. Yes, the guy on top of the column in Trafalgar uh, Square. Um, yes, a letter actually written by the man himself. Auctioneer Peter Mason is uh, with us right now. Hello to you there, Peter. Good afternoon. Hello. Wow, what an exciting find. It certainly is, yes, yes. Um, occasionally in this line of work, you know, we do come across these kind of things, and it, yeah, it's just a real treat just, uh, um, just to find them, and you know, to to you know, give the uh, give the vendor some kind of uh, you know um, explanation of the history of it, and then um, also an estimate, and hopefully, ultimately, uh, you know, quite a successful sale in a couple of weeks. Did they know they had it? Uh, that, that's the other thing. Well, they kind of knew they had it because because it had been kept in the family, but it had been stored away in a drawer for years, and it just been. Not really forgotten about. It was just kind of referred to as, oh yes, that that thing we've got in the drawer. Um, no one ever really considered selling it. Or you know, kind of recently, as you say, this kind of year has given you know everyone the opportunity to just um, take stock of their lives and things like that. So I guess you know, it's um, these things turn up occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the contents of the letter? What was he writing to? Who was he writing to? Well, he was writing to um, a guy called Post Captain Charles Boyles, who was a bit of a kind of mentor of his, um, close friend. Um, and um, he was stationed at the time uh, just off the coast of France, um, south of France. And uh, the letter is dated 1803. And it's actually um, at the top. He actually says that it's written from HMS Victory, which is obviously the ship that he's famous for. Wow. I mean, that, that is quite something, isn't it? I mean, to actually have HMS Victory written by Nelson at the top of a letter is... Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's a, that's yeah, a deal clincher, things, isn't it? <laughs> yes, certainly, yes. You know, you hold it in your hands and you can't quite believe the history, in it, you know. But it's, you know, 100% genuine and accurate and it's, you know, it's a uh, um, fantastic thing. It's a joy of the job, really. Yeah, it really is. Uh, to have held it as well. Can I just ask, it's obviously not very big either, is it? I imagine... He didn't have no, a... it's just a kind of, um, you know, um, a small piece of paper written on both sides, um, a couple of paragraphs, not a huge amount, nothing really of any interest in terms of content. But I guess it's, you know, still historic because he's, uh, you know, because of where he was at the time. You know, and then two years later, he was to lose his life at Trafalgar, obviously. And it had only been sort of three or four years before that he'd lost his right arm. So the letter was actually written with his left hand. So... Um, yeah, it's a uh, you know, fascinating bit of history. It is, because there's two more quick questions, um, which I was going to ask. It's, it's, what's his handwriting like? Um, it's quite hard to read, although, you know, after a bit of time, you just kind of get accustomed to it. We've, you know, had a few of these kind of letters in before, so so it's kind of between us. We uh, <laughs> we kind of sit down and go through it and um, piece it all together, and it kind of makes sense in the end, hopefully. Yes, well, yeah, he had one arm, so, you know, he probably was just learning how to write with his left hand. Um, and yeah. uh, how much do you think it would go for? Well, it's estimated at four to six thousand um, pounds, which sounds a lot of money, and it is a lot of money. But obviously, you know, it is a um, completely unique piece of history. Um, so uh, hopefully, um, you know, we'll find some buyers for it, and it will go to a good home. Yeah, so you'd like to think somebody might want to keep it here in the UK, really, sort of officially, because <laughs> uh, well, it, it feels so. like yeah, so, uh, the yeah. Royal Navy might be quite pleased with that somewhere in their yeah, archives. Um, really good yeah. to speak to you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, that's uh, auctioneer Peter Mason, who's actually held a letter, uh, as we were just hearing there, written by Admiral Lord Nelson, um, which is about to be auctioned, uh, written from HMS Victory in 1803. That's amazing. <laughs>